Hi, this is Kanna Babu. In the last class, we discussed about how to generate the make sales screen. In this class, we will try to uh, add the bill transaction as well as bill master. So, whenever the customer, here I will try to log in with username Anil, and the password is Anil, and click on sign in, and here make sales. So, here customer will select the item type like pizza, and here automatically based on the item types, it has to display the item names whenever i enter the quantity which is greater than the uh, there is no stock that is available so here i want to enter the quantity as 2 so the total amount is 120 whenever user clicks on continue button whenever user clicks on continue button i want to insert i want to insert bid bmid i number quantity amount in bill transaction table but if you observe in bill transaction table BMID is foreign key, in bill master table BMID is primary key. If you want to insert the value in foreign key column, first of all the value must be available in primary key column. Right. So for that I will write one stored procedure to insert the data in bill transaction table. Create procedure, procedure name, PROC underscore bill transaction, at the rate BID, data type is varchar, at the rate BMID, at the rate i number, at the rate i number, data type is varchar of something like 10 I will give, comma, at the rate quantity, data type I will give as int, comma, at the rate amount, data type I will give as varchar, sorry, money, data type I will give as money. And uh, here I will try to write as begin block and end block. Now within this procedure you have to uh, write some code. I am writing some TSQL program within this procedure. If you observe clearly, whenever the customer here, whenever the customer actually the customer will select what here there is no item number, but we are selecting item name based on item name. We have to get what I number. So BID is already there, right? BMID, BMID is also there in our program because we automatically generated what BMID here. So that BMID is also there and uh, the values, I number is not there. So we can get the item number based on item name, quantity is there, total amount is there. So here within the procedure, I want to declare one variable, declare at the rate I number. So here what I will do means. At the time of calling the uh, procedure, I will try to pass the input parameters as I name. The input I will try to pass as I name. So here you just go and check in items table. And here you can see I name data type is worker of 30. So here I will declare something like worker of 30. Right, I name. And here I will declare one variable internally. Declare at the rate I number data type is worker of 10. I will write. So I want to set the value. How to set the value? Generally in TSQL program you can set the value for the variable in two ways. One is by using set command, other one is by using select command. Set at the rate i number is equals to, here I will write the query. Select i number from items where i name is equals to at the rate i name. For example, if I select at the time of calling the procedure, I will pass the item name, wedge pizza. So what it will happen here, it will get the item number of which pizza and it will store in the variable. Right. And apart from that, I have to insert BMID in where, first of all, bill master table. Because uh, if you want to insert the value in foreign key column, the value must be available in where, primary key column. Is it clear? So here what I will do means, I will just write uh, something like, uh, the insert query insert into what is the table name bill master insert into bill master values of values of uh, i want to insert only in uh, one column so i will try to use insert into table name of column list what is the column name bmid values of value list at the rate bmid first of all i want to get the item number based on item name then I want to insert the BMID in bill master table. Later I want to insert the uh, data in bill transaction table. So here I will write the insert query. Insert into bill transaction. 
values of I have all the values at the rate BID comma at the rate BMID comma at the rate I number comma at the rate quantity comma at the rate amount right so this is my insert query so now press F5 so whenever I execute this stored procedure it has to perform three operations first one is we have to get the item number based on item name second query is it has to insert the BMID in build master table and the third one is it has to insert the record in build transaction table so here uh, I will double click on the continue button and then just I will write the code right so here to make the things faster I will automatically generate the code so here double click on continue button and I create the connection open the connection pass the procedure mention that we are working with stored procedure at the time of calling the procedure we are passing the parameters first one is at the rate BID we already declared the variable here on the top that is bill ID so I am passing that one and then uh, at the rate BMID at the rate BMID here also we declared the variable so I am passing that value and at the rate I name so here I am passing the item name that is CB item name dot text at the rate quantity txt quantity dot text at the rate amount txt amount dot text is it clear and as I am trying to perform the DML operation like insert update delete you can use execute non query right and uh, the result of the execute non query will return a uh, value if you want to implement try catch implementation to handle the exceptions you can use here I will declare the try block and here I will declare the catch block here I will write something like exception e1 bracket open bracket close console dot write line of uh, you can write something like transaction failed if you want any exceptions is it clear and here you can declare finally block and uh, within the finally block I will try to close the connection right so here I will declare this connection within this button so that you can access anywhere right because the scope of local variable is within the block so here I will write con dot close off final block will get executed even if exception was not occurred or here I think uh, I will write one message I will display the e1 dot what message so here you just uh, debug and check whether it is working or not debug. I will try to log in with Anil and Anil click on sign in make sales now here I will select the item type item name veg pizza quantity to 120 click on continue let us go and check it out whenever you execute the procedure first of all we need to go to bill master table and check in bill master table it has to insert what BMID it was inserted successfully now go to bill transaction table here you check BID, BMID, item number, quantity and amount. So here the procedure is important. I hope you understood. Right. Now when the customer is trying to buy what? Another item. When the customer wants to, he want to buy some burgers also, veg burgers. He want three veg burgers. And you click on continue button and go to your database and check what is happening here go to build master table and here you try to execute is it clear and go to build transaction table and here you try to what execute and it is not working let us say some problem is there what is the problem let us check it out so here whenever you click on continue button again we have to auto generate the bill id so again we have to call that method or not so here we already having that method auto generate bill id i'll just call that method here after inserting the record auto generate auto generate bill id i will call 
and uh, before calling the method I will set bill id is equals to the default value I will set otherwise you will get bid underscore 1 2 so here I will write bid underscore is it clear and then automatically I want to clear what <coughs> Here uh, automatically I want to clear the text box, price text box, quantity text box and amount text box. Right. So here I will go to the make sales and here I will try to clear. So txt price dot text is equals to empty. Txt quantity dot text is equals to empty. Txt amount dot text is equals to empty. Press F5. Here you try to log in with the username Anil and password is Anil. Click on sign in button. Click on make sales. So now the customer is trying to uh, sales. Uh, one customer came to the shop is asking, I want two veg pizzas. So here I will select the veg pizza. The quantity is two. And click on tap. Whenever I click on continue button, I want to display this bill details in the grid view control. For that I create one stored processor create procedure pro underscore display data and here written the join query what i want to display i want to display the item name price quantity and amount so i applied the join query here i have given two alias names i for items table and b for bill transaction table select i dot i name comma i dot price comma b dot quantity comma b dot amount from item i inner join bill transaction b on i dot i number is equals to b dot i number based on the bmid bmid is one bill bill master id will be generated for all the sales so here what i will try to do um, i in my front end i already written one method here you check that one i have declared one method called display transaction bill and i create the connection open the connection pass the procedure Mention that we are working with stored procedure and I am passing the BMID and fill the data in the grid view control. Whenever you work with stored procedure, first of all you have to, uh, in order to pass the parameters, you have to use SQL uh, uh, command class and that CMD object we are passing in uh, data adapter. Right Now once you check the output here, you will understand and I will run this screen, click on continue button. So the first bill details are displayed here, veg pizza. 60 rupees to end quantity and the customer is buying another item some he is buying chicken pizzas when three chicken pizzas and you click on continue right so here there is one problem when you try to see here when i click on continue button let us see what is the problem when i try to execute this one and it is uh, throwing an exception what is the exception it is telling if you observe clearly Violation of primary key constant peak underscore bill master cannot insert duplicate key in bill master. So here there is one problem is that what is the problem? Actually, so here you see. So here within this uh, bill transaction PROC underscore bill transaction procedure, each and every time the bill master is inserting, BMID is inserting in bill master table. But I don't want to insert every time. I want to insert only one time. Is it clear? Because one customer came to the shop. He buyed three items. Three veg pizzas, two chicken pizzas, uh, two sprites. Three bill transaction IDs are generated. BID underscore one, BID underscore two, BID underscore three. As these three uh, sales belongs to one customer, only one BMID must insert. But here three times when this procedure is executing, what is happening here? If you observe clearly, uh, three times the value is trying to insert in where? BMID. But BMID is foreign key. We cannot insert the record in foreign key until the record is uh, available in primary key. I hope you understood, right? So I will do a small modification here. So here within this procedure, I am passing one more parameter called number of number means that is total sales. And here if at the rate number is equal to 1, if the total sales is 1 only, then only insert the BMID in bill master table. And here also I declared one variable, take something like int total sales is equal to 0. And uh, within this button 1 underscore click, I will increment the total sales. So total sales is equals to total sales plus 1.
so here increment the total sales and